Hello, I'm Nate with the Petzl Technical Institute. In this video, we're gonna look at the proper use of the ASAP lock vertical lifeline system used in a slope roof application. Workers might find themselves working on a sloped roof when doing things like installing solar panels, doing roof inspections, or since I'm at a ski resort, conducting snow removal. So here at this resort work site, I'm gonna access my sloped roof using this portable ladder. I'm wearing a Newton full body harness and I'll be connecting to the Ray 11 millimeter rope using the ASAP lock and ASAP Zorber 20. Each of the components in this fall arrest system are compliant to ANSI for workers weight up to 310 pounds. Before I get started, I'm gonna provide a little bit of weight to the bottom of my vertical lifeline. And this is just gonna facilitate upward travel of the ASAP while climbing. Before leaving the ground, I'm gonna install the ASAP onto the Ray rope and I'm gonna do a quick function check to make sure that I've installed it properly and that it's functioning. Next, I need to attach it to an appropriate fall or rest attachment point on my harness. Here, I'm gonna clip to my sternal attachment point. Some regulations such as OSHA in the US only allow for sternal attachments when the worker can limit the free fall distance to two feet or less. Regardless, it's always important to keep your fall or rester in a high position to limit free fall distances. All right, now that we're up here on the roof, we can see that it is low angle enough that I can stand comfortably and I don't have to use the support of my harness. However, the exposed edge and the potential free fall hazard requires me to use a fall arrest system. The great thing about using the ASAP lock in my vertical lifeline is it allows me to move freely up and down the rope without any intervention. However, if I do need to work for an extended period of time, I can lock the ASAP lock and place it in a high position while I do my work, and this will limit my free fall potential. The great thing about the ASAP lock is that the locking mechanism is internal to the locking wheel. This means that the device will still lock even if I grab it. The device works based on acceleration. Therefore, on this low angle sloped roof, a fallen worker may have a very slow acceleration. So it's best practice to place a stopper knot just above the unprotected edge of the roof to help prevent the fallen worker from falling over the edge of the roof and being suspended in midair. Additionally, the ASAP lock vertical lifeline cannot serve as a positioning system. Now I'm wearing the Petzl Aveo harness, which allows for a work positioning attachment as well as a fall arrest attachment. So if the angle of the roof that I'm working on is steep enough that I need the support of my harness, I must use an independent positioning system such as the Petzl Grion, as well as a fall arrest system. All right, once I'm finished working, I wanna make sure my ASAP is unlocked. I can make my way to my stopper knot above the unprotected edge and remove my knot. Make my egress down the portable ladder. These were just a few tips on the use of the Petzl ASAP Lock Vertical Lifeline System. For additional information, be sure to visit Petzl.com.